Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuket channel with SketchUp basic tutorial how to create a 3D living room or floor plan. Okay, I will create uh, from uh, this uh, reference image and then you can get uh, all furniture that we use in this uh, tutorial from uh, description below this video. Okay, first uh, I will delete uh, this uh, object. Okay, and then I will use uh, camera change into parallel projection you can click a top view in here I will create a rectangle object start from this point and for length I will give uh, 8000 okay and for width uh, 5500 okay next uh, I will use uh, offset command you can click this icon offset and click at uh, this object okay i will offset with this 10 150 enter i will use uh, this tools tap on measure tools to create the uh, construction line okay i will click from this point to the top with uh, length uh, 2200 okay we create again from this point to the top 2300 okay from the left in here, you can move uh, to drag here uh, 600. Okay, we create again to drag here to 1900. And from this point to drag uh, 1000. Okay, next uh, we create from this point to drag here to 1900. Enter. Okay. Next, uh, I will create uh, in the bottom here for uh, this uh, object. Okay, you can click from this point to drag here 3100 and from this point to drag here uh, 1800. Okay, I will use uh, this uh, pencil tools icon to create a line object. You can click uh, this icon and we create a line from this point. Okay, we create again in here in here okay sorry in here next uh, in here okay and the last uh, in the bottom here okay okay we already created uh, this to uh, this cat and you can delete uh, this uh, lines uh, construction lines and delete again in here okay I will uh, orbit and then you can use uh, push or pull command here to extrude uh, this face. Okay, we extrude uh, to the top here. Next, uh, we extrude again this uh, face. Okay, we extrude in here. And then in here. You can select this face and extrude uh, to the top here with uh, this 10, 1200. Okay, we extrude again from this point into this point. Okay, I will use a erase tool to erase uh, this edge. Okay, we erase in here this edge and the last one. Okay, now you can uh, double click into this object and right click choose a method. Okay, we already create uh, this uh, simple floor plan, and then I will import uh, models into this floor plan. Okay, you can click file and choose uh, import okay i will choose uh, this uh, 2d windows you can click import i will put in here okay click at this point and move to this point now i will use scale command to scale this window okay from this point okay in here into this point okay Next, uh, right again from this point into this point. Okay, you can use uh, move command to copy this uh, object from this point. Press uh, control button to copy and then click at this point. Okay, I will uh, change uh, this uh, floor pen color okay, into this color. Okay. Next, uh, I will uh, change again uh, this uh, floor material. Okay, you can double click in this uh, floor plan, and then I will use 
uh, tiles. Okay, you can click uh, this uh, edge tour and apply into this uh, floor. Okay, I will edit uh, into two thousand. Okay, and you can close. Next, uh, I will uh, apply again. We can change color for uh, this wall. Okay, I will uh, choose a color in here and then use uh, this uh, color and apply into this space. Okay, sorry. I will uh, double click first uh, this uh, object and then we choose uh, this color apply into this space. Now you can close uh, these uh, objects. Okay, we attach again a new uh, furniture. Okay, you can click file and then click import. I will attach a carpet. Uh, import and choose uh, top view. Okay, I will click at this point and use uh, this uh, rotate command. We rotate uh, these three uh, models and you can move uh, into this point. Okay, and then I will scale these corporate objects. Into okay. okay, we import again new model. I will import this uh, sliding door. You can click import. Next, I will click at uh, this point, and then you can use a uh, rotate command to rotate uh, this object. Okay, use a uh, move command. We move uh, from this point into this point. Next, uh, we can scale uh, this uh, 3D object okay, from uh, this point into here. Next, uh, from uh, this point into this point. Sorry, into this point. Okay. We can uh, select again this uh, floor plan. Okay, and you can use uh, Pulsar Full command to extrude uh, this space into here. Okay, I will select this face and move to this point. Select again this face and to this point. Okay, in here. And then in here. Okay. We can create line. Okay, create uh, from this point to this point. And then I will create again in here. Next, uh, I will uh, push pull this uh, object. Okay, this face uh, to the bottom here, and then again this face into this point. Okay, we can close. Okay, we import again a uh, new uh, material. Sorry, new furniture. I will use uh, sofa. Okay, I will pick up uh, this point. I will change into top view and move into here. Okay, you can use a scale command to scale uh, this uh, three models, and then double click in uh, this objects. You can move uh, this sofa move to this point. And move, uh, to the left. Okay, okay. We import again uh, models. Okay, now it's a table. We'll change into top view. You can click here. Okay, and I will click at this point. We use uh, scale again. Sorry, I will use uh, rotate to rotate uh, this table. Okay, and then we scale these uh, objects. You can move uh, to the left and move uh, to the top. Okay, okay. Now we import again uh, the last uh, object, uh, table O. Okay, I will. Click the top view. So we will press uh, in here. We import uh, new models. So we will import uh, table O. Okay, I'm going to click at uh, this point. And then you can use a scale command to scale uh, this object. Okay. Next, uh, we can use a uh, move command to copy this object. Press control button and move to this point. Okay, 
okay I will reskill this object not small okay and then this object not small okay next uh, we import the uh, new furniture I will use a TV and table okay you can just uh, top view we're waiting for import model okay and we pick up this point and just a uh, top view use a rotate command to rotate uh, this object okay and then we agree and then we can move uh, this object into this point okay you can scale scale and then we move it this point go to the right okay okay now uh, we will uh, attach uh, face okay we can import and then click a face one Attach uh, into this point, and then so uh, we import uh, the last uh, object, phase three. Okay, I will attach uh, into this point. Okay, you can select uh, this face and move uh, to the bottom. In. Okay. Now I will. Uh, change the camera view into perspective okay and then I will create a new scan for uh, rendering okay I will create a good angle for rendering I will use a V-Ray you can pick extension here V-Ray and use a asset editor okay we waiting for V-Ray this is a V-Ray asset editor we try to default the rendering you can click here okay we will create uh, scan okay this uh, I will uh, zoom out again one two and we try to render to get uh, the best uh, preview for rendering okay this is okay and then I will uh, create scan you can click here to add scan okay you can see we already have a scan one okay next uh, I will uh, Create a lightning for uh, this uh, object, but first uh, I will change into top view. We create a rectangle. Okay, I will create a rectangle from this point okay, into this point. You can double click in this object and then right click to make a group. Okay, I will change into front view. Change camera into a parallel projection. I will move uh, this uh, plane. Okay, I will Okay. Next, uh, we change into scan one. To view. Okay, this scan one and this uh, floor for uh, outside. Okay. Next, uh, I will create uh, this object. Okay, uh, plan light. You can change into uh, parallel projection and then top view. I will create uh, this object. Uh, plan light. We create uh, in here. Okay, and then I will uh, rotate uh, this uh, lightning. Okay, select uh, this objects and we rotate uh, to the right here. Like right, uh, in here. Next, change into top view and we rotate again to this point. Okay, you can move uh, this object uh, to the top. Change into top. View. Again, I will move okay. Next, uh, we create uh, this uh, plan like uh, again. Okay, I will create in here. Okay, next uh, we rotate uh, this object. Can select and we rotate uh, one hundred eighty degree. Right here and so right here. Move uh, to the top. 
and then change into top view I will move uh, this object uh, to this point and move again to the bottom okay now you can change into scan one you can click here scan one okay this for scan one I will move again this uh, object to the top eh? this uh, lightning from this point to the top Okay, we try to rendering. Okay, for uh, this is for default uh, rendering. Okay, it's okay. We have a uh, good upper view. Next, uh, you can uh, in active uh, background and lightning, sunlight lightning. Okay, you can click uh, in here uh, settings and environment. You can uncheck uh, this background. Next, uh, I will click uh, this uh, like and you can click sunlight here. Okay, click on this icon and then in active this uh, sunlight uh, light. Okay, now we try to render again. Okay, I will try to render. This is a for per view. Okay, you can increase for uh, this lightning. Okay, I will increase into 100. This, uh, it increase again, lightning into 100. Now you can try to render again. Okay, this uh, more bright. And then so we can change the uh, expressure for uh, this uh, 3D object uh, to make uh, more light. Okay, I will stop uh, render here. We we'll close and you can click in here settings. Next, click in a camera. Okay, and then for uh, expressure in here, okay, I will change into 12. This, for example, I will try to render again. And you can see we have a uh, good overview for the setting 12 in each pressure you also can decrease uh, noise okay you can click right rise in here and then you can decrease this uh, noise limit i will set in here into 0 0.1 okay and we try to render it again okay this is the result for uh, noise uh, 0 0.1 you also can uh, use uh, this option okay uh, so correction control we can correct uh, uh, more uh, expression in here. Okay, like uh, in or lightning is for uh, expression. We also can change contrast in here. Okay, it's for contrast. It's for expression and it's for contrast. Okay, I will change again here noise limit into. 0 0.01 okay 0 0.01 okay and you can see the noise uh, will be limits in uh, this uh, 2D rendering okay okay enough today for SketchUp uh, 3D modeling basic uh, tutorial how to create uh, 3D living room floor plan if you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in another SketchUp 3D Modeling Basic Tutorial.